Go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having hey so much okay, fun. So, um, trying to do vlogmas this year. Um, so today is uh, December 1st. Um, I have a video going up today of the day when I lost my mom and prep for Thanksgiving. So, that's gonna be up today, the first, and then this is probably gonna be up tomorrow. I put the tree up, I showed you guys. But I didn't show you guys me putting ornaments on the tree because I just let the kids put that on there. I did decorate one of those trees over there. Haven't touched it since my mom passed. Um, I just haven't been in the mood. But today, I am feeling so much um, more motivated to uh, decorate. Don't mind my dry lips, my face, my hair, whatever. I'm dried out. Um, but today, I am stuffing my cushion box for my couch. I am stuffing them. So, uh, a few years ago I bought inserts that are a feather, the down thing that you can chop. Um, I invested in a few of those. So I am left with the flat ones. You know the flat ones that are stiff and you can't really chop them? These, I have a bunch of these now because every time I buy pillows, this is what comes in it and I'm not really a fan. So, what I've decided to do is to open that up and stuff the back of my pillows. I am working on the last one. I ordered some pillow covers Christmas. Sorry, I didn't make, mean to make you guys dizzy there. I ordered some Christmas pillow covers from Amazon. And that's what I'm going to be doing from now on is ordering pillow covers instead of buying pillows because I don't have the space for, you should see my basement, it's a hot mess. I don't have the space for storing pillows. I'm getting ready to wash all the covers that I currently have just laying about um so i ordered pillow covers um you guys probably haven't seen this change over here i i'm making this into a sitting area but i have a chandelier so yeah <laughs> um it's a work in progress it's a hot mess but it's a work in progress because with the dining table that's right there i took the leaf out and then i got rid of the round one because it was just hot mess hot mess okay um so dining table is over there now it fits but i had to take the leaf out because it was extremely long so now this is a sit-in area i need to fix it but that's not right now because right now i'm just trying to make sure my house function for christmas um i have my calendar situation over here because i have a toddler and she's always like mommy when is christmas when is christmas and the best way i can explain it to her for her for it to make sense to her is when all the candies are gone that's when christmas is so um let me show you guys i'm pretty sure i've shown you guys so i put candy in every single one of the bags and today was her first day so she got to take the candy out um and then tomorrow jackson um destiny jordan and jason last year was the other way where the oldest to youngest and she got to take the candy out christmas morning but um so anyways let me show y'all what i have over here so far and let me stop rambling okay <sighs> when the candies are all gone i said that already leah so this rug came from my bedroom. Um, this was an a accidental. Wayfair sent me the wrong rug and I got to keep it, whatever. <laughs> they were supposed to send me that. Um, so this is brown, that's gray, whatever. It still works. But over here, I've had the pill I have the pillows set up how I want um, how many pillows on here. And I think this is, these are 26 by 26. This is 18. This is 12 by something, and then another 26 by 26. I think this is perfect. I got covers for these coming. These are my um, fall covers. So I have covers coming for these guys. Chandelier is in the middle of the room, so you can't really sit right here without hitting your head. I have to fix that. But whatever. I like it as a sitting room versus a dining room because I feel like my kids use it more. Um, those chairs are my dining room chairs. I don't know what to do with them. Because I really like them, so I don't know. Still trying to figure out the room. Over there is going to be a pillow. Um, this don't really belong here. 
I'm, you know. And then I have these two chairs over here. And then that one chair. Living room's a hot mess because, yeah, toddler and I'm trying to fill this thing. So, let me clean this up. This hot mess that's going on right here. And then come back. Okay, so, I have eliminated the mess. I just vacuumed. I have literally uh, 10 minutes to go pick up the kiddos from school. And I took out some lamb shank situation probably should put it on before i leave it's this rosemary seasoned rosemary garlic lamb shank um so i'm gonna pressure that when i come back um i don't know why i keep focusing off my face i'm gonna pressure that when i come back i am <coughs> straighten up I got rid of all the unnecessary pillows except for the couple over there that I still have to get rid of um, when I come back I have to put some stuff in the laundry to wash and then uh, get started on dinner and why are you in the pantry get out the pantry but anyways I'm gonna go to pick up I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, we're back from picking up. Um, oh, I wanted to update you guys. Oh, my gosh. So, um, my uh, mantle for my fireplace over there, I have to... Can we be quiet a little bit, please? Thank you. Um, my mantle for the fireplace here, I have to put it up. But, I have to re-sand it down because... When I patched the holes in the wood, um, for some reason the stain didn't, I don't know what happened, but it just looks like, let me show y'all, it just looks patchy patchy and Rob don't like that look. I don't care, but he's like, um, can you please sign that down? So, you see how, let me bring y'all, you see where I filled the holes, there's like, you know, all this stuff. So he doesn't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna sand that back down, but look how beautiful my mantle is. I made that. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna sand it down. And I think I'm gonna do a lighter color than the Jacko. I think that's Jacko bean or something. It's what's on the stairs. Even though I think I should keep it the same color because it's the same stain that's on my stairs. So I think I'm gonna keep it that color. Just to be consistent and speaking of mantle I went ahead and invested in a garland for Christmas why am I why is my teeth like that I invested in a garland for Christmas it's that it's not cedar it's um pine something but it's really it's really pretty it was quite pricey um so I just got one for now um and then throughout the year, I might just pick up, you know, more as I go, you know, to sprinkle along my collection. Because eventually, I want all the garland in my house to match. And just have a good chunk of garland. Um, so that I can drape down here. And then, these are Walmart garland. They were like $13. They already came pre-lit and stuff. So... I might just keep those on there and just invest in a mantle one, but I want to pick up at least four. I want to get four more. I already purchased one. They're $60, okay? Pretty pricey if you ask me. Walmart had some, but I can't get my hands on those. But anyways, I'm going to get started on dinner. Um, I have to do that. Oh, this is what the table looks like from this view in the kitchen, and I love it. I just love it. Um, I would have loved to fit all eight chairs in, in that little tiny space but those chairs are really bulky and like fat fat they're like really fat but they're sturdy like the kids can't break these and if they do then I need to break the kids <laughs> I'm joking but let's start on dinner um, and then what else did I purchase I purchased 
these bells hard to find bells um i was gonna diy my own because i couldn't get my hands on any i was gonna diy my own so these were 3.99 50 percent off so two dollars um so i was gonna you know spray paint these gold and wrap droop around it and put it on my garland but i i, I got my hands on um some from amazon they were in the warehouse section of Amazon where they were returned or something um, but they're regularly like a hundred dollars and I paid thirty dollars for them so yeah and that's what they were on the TJ Maxx website so that's why I will be hunting for our bells I'm obsessed with bells so I'm still gonna DIY these um, and make them look antique ish so that's the plan for right now. Popcorn? Um, sure. Can I get popcorn too? Okay, so these are the bells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am kicking myself right now because I wanted to purchase another one. I was like, if I come back home and it's still available, I was gonna bite the bullet and purchase another one, but it sold out. But you girl got our hands on one and that's good enough because I can always um, add stems to it to make it look more full so I'm satisfied with one and thankful that I was able to get my hands on any kind of gar garland because Hobby Lobby Amazon just it the prices are just like skyrocketing for no reason and I'm not about to be got because you know someone wants to be greedy so I'm browning um, the shank right now, so I'm heating the oil. And I'm gonna brown them, and then I'm gonna put them in the Insta Pot. So that's what, and then I have to put out some rice. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas because that's my favorite time of the year. I come alive, you know what I mean? And I need to be alive these days because I'm trying my best to be at peace with my mom's passing. Um, I miss her phone calls. Um, I miss talking to her. I, I, it's just so much I miss about her, but she prepared me for this day because she talked about death, like what she didn't want. She didn't want floral. She didn't want, you know, for you to buy floral and put on her. She was, she just like prepped you and she was like, I know where I'm going when I die. You know what I mean? So I'm at peace and yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna go cook dinner. Okay, guys. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, one side's brown already. I'm gonna do the other side. That side's brown. Just flip it up and brown that side, and then put it in the it's the pot. <laughs> but, whew, okay. Putting on my rice. I'm gonna put some of this in here. This is pollo and rice. It's so good. I put vegetable oil in my rice. I'm a weirdo. I know. It's okay. So I went ahead and put two of these of that in here. I'm just gonna stir that and then go ahead and get a little bit of vegetable oil. Hopefully, oh god. Oh god. That's good. Vegetable oil make it nice and loose <laughs> when you cook it. I don't need to add salt because yeah, the seasoning already has salt. So I'm just gonna stir this until everything is dissolved, and then I'm just gonna cover it and let it cook. I've had this um, rice cooker for years. I don't even measure anymore. I just put the rice in and measure with my finger how far the water should be from the top of the rice. And perfect rice every time. Don't ask me how this thing works. Because I don't know. There you go. And then with that, I think I have some vegetable. Yep. I'm going to make some vegetable as a side. And that's it. I am so deadly afraid right now. <laughs> but this is what it looks like after it's been brown on both sides. I turn the stove off. Um, I'm just gonna brown up that side and then we're gonna stick it in. 
the brush I cut this. I don't know if you guys can see the smoke. <laughs> Kids are fanning. The smoke alarm just went off. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm here too, mommy. I even had to put the code in for the the, the alarm system. Because that one, because we have... That one is connected to our alarm system. Um, so it's not in the wall. I don't think it's... Well, I don't know. It's connected to the alarm system. So... When it goes off, you just have to put the code. You can't ban it <laughs> for it to go off. And then that one is connected to the house. So you have to fan it in order for it to go off. But it's my bad because I didn't turn on the vent. Um, for the, look, you see that cloud of, um, <clears throat> God, look at the stove. But it's in here. I'm going to cut up some onion. Uh, no, put it back, please. Um, I'm gonna put up, cut up some onions. I don't have any potato, uh, and then put some broth on here and pressure this for one hour. Okay, so I put some onion and I also season it myself because, uh, yeah. Um, and then we're just gonna saute. Um, now I'm gonna put the cover on. Alright, now we're going to cancel that, and we're going to press pressure, one hour, keep warm, and yep, yeah. put that valve over there, it's on, go take this trash out. Tell me why, um, the other day I was outside, right? And I'm sitting outside because uh, I don't know if I tell y'all that when my mom passed away, um, the nurse was kind enough. Well, the doctor had called us and said, hey, because, all right, long story short, my mom heart stopped. Um, they found her and her heart was, she was in a nursing home. And the nursing home, they found her. Um, and when they took her to the hospital, her heart stopped. She was diagnosed with COVID. And then they resuscitate her and put her on a ventilator. Basically, life support. She was on life support for two weeks. And then we decided that it was best to just let her go. The first week we called, she could open her eyes and blink. And we was like, Ma, blink your eyes if you know who's talking to you. She was responding to us. Um, and then the following week, she deteriorated where she needed blood. Her um, kidney was functioning at 7%. Um, basically, our organs were shutting down. Um, she needed a lot of things. Um, so the Monday, we decided that we were going to take her off and just let her go peacefully and naturally. You know, no intervention if anything happened, just let it go. So that was Monday. And then Tuesday, the doctor called and said, Hey, y'all need to come up here because at that time they had tested her and she no longer had COVID in her system. It already did the damage and went out, just went out the door. Um, they were like, Well, you need to, you guys need to come up here and see your mom. Um, she doesn't have long, like, we're talking about minutes. And I'm like, Know where I live, I'm like two hours away from her. I was like, can I get a phone call? Um, so they video chat. You guys will see that in today's video. And then, so, video chat. And I created a nice little environment for her. You know, I told her goodbye. I told her I loved her. Um, she wasn't conscious or anything. And then I took her outside. I said, Mom, I'm going to take you outside so you can see the sunset for the last time. And within two minutes of me taking her outside, she was gone. Um, so... Um, the table that I sat her on is like where I go every single day to sit exactly where I was in that position three weeks ago because it's been three weeks and one day since my mom passed away um, it's been one week since her funeral um, so I go and sit out there yesterday I'm sitting out there and while sitting down in the chair in the cushion of the chair because it was windy one day and we piled up all the cushions on one chair was this little head it was like a little field mice Stuck his head out. Ooh, I don't know who was more frightened, the the mice or me. We both took off running. So my husband to um, put a trap out here to see if he can catch them. You see that little trap? I'm not going over there because I'm scared. This is where I used to sit. 
and that's why my mom I sat her on the table when she passed away but you see that trap and then there's one down here because it ran down the steps and I don't know where it went but ever since the new neighbors moved in we've been getting a lot of field mice um, we found a few um, dead ones by the tree lines over there so I don't know what's going on but I know for a fact that they can't come in here I will burn this sucker down like I told Rob I said I'm already looking at houses cuz I'm leaving I'm joking I'm not going anywhere um, but yeah I just wanted to tell y'all that um, I found out mice was like right next to me outside so I don't really go out there anymore <laughs> once Rob catch that mice then I'll feel comfortable going out there but I no, sorry, no. Rob is on his way. He should be here any moment because he called me while I was picking up the kicks. So, oh, speaking of the devil, speaking of the devil, here he is. <laughs> um, oh, exciting news for him, but I'm gonna wait because we still have a long way to go. But I'm excited for him. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for him, um, and our family. and the direction in which our family is going um we have been blessed and i just feel so thankful um yes baby turn on the trees yeah turn them on okay turn on the trees there you go magic hey rob oh his job thing is on his chest i can't show him Hey baby, I'm gonna go say hi to the hubby. Now be back. Okay, both done. Still releasing the steam. Sorry, releasing the steam. It is 5:26. We have prayer meeting at seven. So, um. We're gonna have to eat real fast. <laughs> it's 526. So that means I need to be done with everything at um six o'clock so we can eat. I did the side. I burned the pots. I told you that. Rice is done. So I just need to um take this out and brown it a little bit. Ew! Sorry. I hate when it burps. Um, yeah, so I just need to um, take that out, brown it, like gravy, like make it a little gravy-ish. And then there's that. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with your girl today. I think I have a lot of footage for vlogs this day too. I'll see you guys back here for Blackman's day three. I don't know what I'm gonna get into, but I know that I have to finish decorating my house and the TV's loud around here. So, yeah. Bye guys. Keep on trying to You give me a sign Give me a sign